A bird whose beginnings included looking for schools of tuna and tracking the weather has found its way to the desert. With a few modifications, this fish finder is now a military intelligence asset. The Marine Corps is currently the only service testing the unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV, better known as Scan Eagle. The Marine Corps went out looking for something and found this aircraft. They said, hey, let's put a camera in this thing and send it to war and see if we can take pictures and help out the fight over there. And uh, that's what we're doing. That's why I've got mostly contractors working for my team from the companies. Uh, and we've put it in the air, and I've got a couple of Marines that work for me, and we do some good, uh, some good imagery for the guys on the ground and give them some good feedback, real-time uh, imagery, and uh, let them know what's going on. The aircraft starts collecting video minutes after it's airborne. It's the job of imagery analyst Sergeant Scott Cumston to interpret that information. Basically, what I do is I look at the pictures. I look at the pictures from the battle space and I talk to the troops and the commanders uh, back in the rear and out in the field and let them know exactly what's going on down there and let them know exactly uh, what's the best way that they could use the battle space to their advantage. Scan Eagle is smaller and quieter than other UAVs, but one of the program's better qualities is the speed at which the information gets to the people who need it. The uh, Scan Eagle is a more user-friendly platform. Uh, the operators can talk directly with the uh, troops on the ground, with the battlefield commanders and the intelligence sections of the supported units, uh, which makes it very handy. I've gotten a lot of feedback from the supported units that say that they love the Scan Eagle a lot more because of that user interface. It's, uh, it's got more time on station, uh, and we can stay in the air as long as they need us. And, and give them some good coverage. Its ability is proven during combat operations in Fallujah and along the Euphrates during Operation River Blitz. Captain Weiss believes there's potential for Scan Eagle to be effective in other areas. I see this as uh, with a whole lot of capabilities. We could use it for uh, force protection around bases. You could use it for escort and convoys, looking uh, for route reconnaissance for convoys. Uh, forward air controllers have been able to use this thing uh, to, to try to control fires. It's, uh, it's really a great asset. The first Marine Expeditionary Force deployed the UAV to Iraq in the summer of 2004 and surpassed more than 1,000 flight hours by November. From Al-Assad Air Base, I'm Army Sergeant Casey Nelson for the Multinational Corps Iraq Public Affairs Office.